What's going on everybody? It's Mike here at Sunny Slope and well this video is for those folks who homestead or just anybody who's watching this who's thought about starting a YouTube channel but doesn't really know what equipment to start off with. All right one thing I've heard too many times from a lot of different people who watch the channel is oh I'm, I'm thinking about starting a youtube channel i'm thinking about starting a youtube channel and there's a lot of questions and everything that go along with that but i picked something up the other day that i thought was absolutely amazing and i'm not sponsored i'm not trying to promote this much but i figured i started out this way whoever may see this video this may help them to start out and just take that push that you know to get them over the edge to start a channel because it's not all about the equipment sometimes. It's just about getting started. We gotta take care of these animals real quick. We gotta take care of chickens, goats. Let's get these chores out of the way because it's absolutely beautiful outside. And then uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Oh, and let's go check up on uh, what we're having for dinner. Ooh, yeah, look at that. We're treating ourselves to some smoked chicken and some turkey breast. Yep, wild turkey and uh, farm raised chicken here oh man that's gonna be so good but nonetheless we're gonna get these goats water because on these warm days we take advantage of obviously the temperatures and washing out the goat uh, tanks and stuff over they drink from because you know it's it's nice warm out if you guys ever noticed we leave our hoses out and it just strings all the way down there the bad part is I have to walk all the way down there and put this guy on so the reason why we leave the hoses strung out like that is not because we're lazy and we don't want to roll them up, which we know we don't like doing, so it kind of works in our favor. But during the winter time, when it gets really cold like that, we leave them out. So when we do water or we do need to water the goats, that, that water just drains out of them naturally and you don't get frozen hoses. And then we can not have to haul buckets of water to water our animals. So one of the benefits of actually living on a hill Whew. Oh. you have the washer in there yeah so we just leave this end open and uh, we just fill the waters up as we need them but today we're actually gonna be washing waters up because it's nice and warm back up to the top of the hill we go to hook up the hose and Ooh, that's a big pile so the top of the hill we go to hook up the other side of this hose and get them some fresh water. Oh, we have plans. I planted all new grass right there. Unfortunately, I think that's gonna be a new garden spot. I think we wanna do some new garden boxes here too because I hate mowing this hill, absolutely hate it. What is this? Oh, firecrackers. <laughs> That boy. Voila. <laughs> Ooh, the chickens know something's going on down there. Must uh must have left that end of the hose open. I left that sprayer on. Oh well. We'll shut it off when we get down there. Oh <laughs> yeah. Yep, it is spraying. No wonder the chickens went to go see what's going on. Get that dust bath on, girl. Get it. Get your bath on. Get your dust bath on. <laughs> Oops. Uh, uh, this thing probably seen better days. Could be replaced. Oh, you're all wet. <laughs> Let me take care of that. Oh man. Caught you red-handed. Show it in. So we started this composting uh contraction about oh man probably well over a year ago and you know there's a lot of chicken cleanings in there coop cleans are in there we throw all our food scraps in there we used to throw the food scraps just out and about for the chickens to just eat on but there's certain things that they don't like like onions and certain peppers any of those moonlight or leaf plants whatever we uh we toss them in here and this thing is probably half full. And I can't wait to see what kind of black gold is down there this spring. Cause like I said, I 
we're gonna do some new garden boxes and we're gonna need some good dirt oh yeah see that's nasty that's nasty the bad part about having a, a water next to the compost bin is the chickens kick stuff in it all the time so when we get a chance to clean it we gotta get it cleaned So we'll just let that uh, fill up and we'll come back to it when it's tipped to the brim. <laughs> you guys, you like the nastiest stuff. Yeah, you'll be good for a little bit. You guys need some hay. Did you guys see this? I made a nice little cover for their hay feeder. I have the old format from my old truck. You use what you got laying around, that's for sure. Yeah. Just flop that back over there and we'll call it good to go. Boy, we'll be opening the windows in this coop here soon. How are you guys doing on water? Oh yeah, you guys are doing good. Ugh. Food? Oh yeah, doing real good on food. So I did notice that uh, when I was putting that black sunflower seed in with their feed, they were picking out all the seed or all the all the layer feed just to get to that seed causing a mess oh no you guys are out of feed i know we'll take care of it okay no no nibbles don't don't go in nibbles bonnie you back up too well it looks like we're going up top to get some feed stuff everywhere. Skirt! You guys order some food? Coming through. Coming through. Pardon me. Coming through. You're not going to be able to eat this right, right away, Clyde. Mega hole! Coming through. God, I told you. Bro, you can't be eating this just yet. He's like, but I want it now. Unacceptable. Ugh. You guys sure do love your chow. I would too if I was a goat. Uh, excuse me, mister, uh, can, can you not, uh, stop, please? Hey, hey, can I pour it in the feed can? Hey, you two. Hey, uh, excuse me? Can you guys, come on, I gotta dump it in the can there, come on. All right, all right, come on. We'll get you get hey come on no 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 let's get you we'll get you some scoops oh yeah we'll get some of that good stuff on the bottom come on oh good girl lunch is over 
Go get your feet over there. You want some feed, mama? You want some feed? Let's get you some feed. enough that should be pretty good man i don't know how well this mic works on this gopro but gunder is absolutely in the background freaking out he is just barking and barking up a storm i guys gonna show you something real quick something new that i got it's not all that big and bad but it's pretty cool to me all right so tax season, you know, finding deductions. I went out and I got myself a new phone. So saying that, people who wanna get started in YouTube, man, the phones out there are absolutely amazing. You don't need this expensive camera equipment to just get started or even really at all to uh, just do a YouTube channel. Cause let me show you what I'm working with this iPhone. Now, mind you, this is a, uh, this is not a cheap phone by any means, but it's a phone, it has many purposes. So it's not just your camera, you actually can do all your editing on this. This is like your own little computer. That's how I got started. But the iPhone I was using was, say the least, not that great. So I wanna show you guys the difference in picture quality. So I'm being, I'm filming right now on a GoPro Hero 9 in 4K. So let me open this up and I'm gonna show you the difference between the video on my phone to the video that you're seeing here in 4k and this has uh all different kinds of filming modes so you can really get those cool shots with this thing i've been playing with it a little bit now i'm going to set you guys down because i do not want to break this i don't have a case for it yet that's how new it is but i'm going to show you real quick side by side you guys are seeing the difference between the GoPro Hero 9 in 4K and the iPhone 13S Max Plus Affinity 1000. I don't know. <laughs> you guys, it's the newest iPhone. But yes, and this is also in 4K. GoPro, iPhone. GoPro, iPhone. So say you wanted to be able to look at yourself while you're filming because sometimes it's important to see what's going on, on the other side of the camera because any YouTuber will tell you that I've been talking and filming and I forgot to hit play. Let's just turn this into selfie. Oh man, that's pretty good too. That is pretty good, I would say. All right, let's start that. That's pretty good. Man, look at that. I don't know if I'm gonna break the matrix. Uh-oh, oh. oh. Got the gunder. Got the gunder. Sorry. I don't know if I'm gonna break the matrix by filming like this but man this is a really cool camera guys now i got it in cinematic mode or whatever you want to call it man i might start filming on this all right so just regular old video here that is a great picture i don't care what they say you could definitely do youtube off these new iphones i think i think i might just start doing that chickens get out of the goat feed that's their food Anyways, I wanted to show you that real quick. Video wasn't on much. This is a real nice day. I just want to bring you guys along on some of the chores we're doing. So I appreciate you guys watching. And remember, if you guys are going to start a YouTube channel, don't be afraid to do it. You don't need much. You can just use your phone. See you guys.